Hey guys, so what up here? Welcome back to NASCAR Game 2013 Career Mode for Part 13. We're going to Dover. Maybe bonus race time. I'm not sure. I did some practicing off camera. I think we got a good shot to, to win here, but I'm not sure. It's just practice, so I don't know. But our car obviously isn't fully upgraded, so I could be blowing too much smoke out of my nose. I was going to say another word, but it's the only two orifices I can think of that is PG friendly. So we are fourth in the standings. We're all good with that. Upgrades. Our next big enough. one is going to They've be the chassis, ready for you to look at. which we've already bought. So I guess our next biggest one would be... I guess it will be engine, which will be 700,000. So if we do good at Dover, we might be able to get that. But I'm not sure. I think that's really about it. There's not a whole lot else to look at, so... I guess we'll just jump straight into it. But before we do, as always, a big shout out to my two YouTube Patreon people as well as my YouTube members for supporting my channel. Again, perks you get are early access to videos before they come out to the public, usually a day in advance. So that's always cool. And emotes and stuff if I live stream. So those are those perks. Without further ado, we'll go into Dover and try to bend over the field. I tried. Oh, the game. Wow. Game crashed. Do I need to make a super cut of this, too? Like, this is getting pretty goddamn embarrassing. Like, NASCAR Riles had 30-plus crashes in, like, 40 episodes. We're not going to get to, like, 40-plus episodes in this, like, series, but... This is getting pretty goddamn depressing. And some people think that this is, like, an amazing game. I don't, I don't know. Let's just get into Dover for real this time and not have the game fall apart on me. So here's my settings, 80 laps, one times tire and fuel. Now from what I did in practice, the fuel should be right around 65, 74 laps. There could be some weird AI that may stay out the whole race. I don't think so. I mean, what I did saw in practice, I didn't see anything like that. And they pitted a little bit earlier than even me. So this should not, that weird issue should not happen. I think we got the settings right in my Google Doc chart that I figured, you know, I did all, I did all the calculations because you got to do at least an hour of practice to calculate the combination. You need a Google Doc chart. Because this game is phenomenal. Sure so, uh, I'm going to go and do qualify. I'm going to do some practice first. And then we'll get into everything else like usual. Through three and four. I'm amazed that the lap time is not faster. Just because we're sailing around this track. Crazily fast. But it's going to be 18th. Almost mid-pack. I'm kind of amazed by that. But car fell fine. It's a little loose. But nothing astronomically bad so we'll have mike joy and daryl take it away well i guess we actually gotta look at the results because tony stewart's on pole which is adorable because he won this race in real life so that's that's cute the game's trying to replicate reality and the you know, juniors up here kyle bush is our, our uh, new point i guess i guess can't say our new point leader but our most current point leader is up in 11th so i don't know we'll see what we can do but yeah let's have mike joy and daryl take it away and hopefully the game does not crash again or a second time Welcome to the Monster Mile in Dover, Delaware for Fox Sports coverage of the FedEx 400 benefiting autism speeds. With Daryl Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, they call this place the Concrete Canyon. They call it Miles the Monster. They got a big statue out there, an old Miles. You know why he's out there? Because he will reach out and grab you, baby. This place is tough. It's concrete. It's a tough race. Daryl, you run the bottom of the corner. It's a long way to that hard wall up top. Yeah, and, and the straightaways, we call this a self-cleaning racetrack because the straightaways are banked a lot, too. If you get in trouble, down the hill you go into that inside retaining wall. A tough place to survive for 400 miles. Thank you to those two legends for giving us an introduction. You just got to be careful on the start. AI are always kind of finicky. Uh, Montoya's in his Depends car, which I don't think he ran that in real life, so not accurate. But thank you, Daryl, for the for the race command. Again, I'm being, just being so just generous today. The game's telling me I'm in the wrong way again. Just gotta be careful. That could have been... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Oh my god. It's lap one, guys. Calm the fuck down. All right. This is basically a last to first challenge now as we're three wide. That's an, I don't know if that's an AI yellow or what. I don't, I don't know, but. Okay. Oh, and, and poor Ambrose. <laughs> Fuck. 
AI. What is this? Why? Is this how they raced in Australia? Is this what the V8 supercars are? What was that? I'm not pitting. But that's a lot of spots. Well, I don't know if that's a lot of spots. The whole field stayed. They stayed. They stayed out. The AI did a smart thing. I'm bewildered by that. I'm amazed I didn't wreck there. But I guess the AI, I guess, wrecked. So that's not good. They're just so chaotic. It's... I don't know. I guess we'll try it again. Just try it. With, I, I'm so used to inside lines AI because they always would just stop and turn three. But they don't really do that here. So, I don't know. But we definitely have our work cut out for ourselves because we're really far back. And I almost gave up the entirety of the bob. I cannot hold my fucking line to save my life. And there goes every spot we li like. Just continue to choke more spots out. Just from what I did in practice, this was a pretty easy race. But I mean, you don't really have the a maxed out car, so maybe that doesn't help either. Yeah, this is gonna be. Uh... Oh my. Fucking god, this is gonna be this is gonna be fucking brutal. So we got axle damage. So that's not good. They're checking up too much. I should have went to the outside there and just found a way around them. But this is get so why is Jeff Gore well, okay, one, why is Jeff Gordon leading? Two, why is there a car in front of him? Did somebody wreck and I don't know what's happening. That that just looks weird in the track map. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time to get up to the not even back up to the front, just to back to where we freaking qualified. I cannot make a clean path to save my fucking life. Alright, I guess we'll just make pass up on the outside. I guess that kind of works. I don't know if it works in this time period. But, you know, we're, we're doing stuff. They check up too much in turn three. So that's something else I'm learning. you think I would learn this all in practice, but... Maybe I, for, I forgot some of these key details. I didn't write it down in my notebook. I just did another stupid thing again. I just 35th. All that for 35th. That is it's pretty damn depressing. This sucks. I don't know what else really to say. It's just brutal. I really didn't think it will be this hard to get up to the field. or just I didn't expect to have this much trouble. Jesus fucking God. Didn't think I would pass anyone on the outside in turn one, but it worked. We gained a spot on Kurt, who's just having another just hellaciously bad day. And they check up again, turn three. Again, they're st they're not really spreading out, so this makes passing really freaking difficult. Ryan Moody said that Dover is always a good place to gauge the AI's intelligence, and uh, yeah, this is, it's a good gauge on everything because uh, yeah, this sucks. It's almost like as if this game is not amazing. Who would have who would have thought that concept? It's just it's just unfortunate. I don't know, but it's going to take us the whole race just to get this field to thin out, it seems like. And they're checking up. Something's happening. We'll just stay up high here. Try to gain these spots. I really wish I didn't get into any of those instants that would have had a little bit better track position to kind of play with. Or at least not worry about all this because then they check up in turn three. And it's just, oh, it's just, it's just gross. Okay, we're making up spots. That's just scary. It's just very scary to be around because I don't know what they're gonna do. Some, I just—it's so unpredictable. Like I'm afraid to even be neat in in their racing line, in their vicinity. And I don't know why the car did that. The, the game is so weird with how it handles sometimes. I don't understand. Like I'm so just fucking almost ran myself off the track in the Robbie Gore, but we're fine. I just—it's just scary. But we're. We're slowly making up spots. That's three wide in the middle. That could have been terrible. And we're just going to go up high. Perfect. We got around mirrors. Or at least we're in the process of doing it. Maybe that doesn't help too that we have axle damage. We'll just send it here in turn three. They checked up. Perfect. And I still couldn't execute because Pastrana is slow. So. I, ooh. This is, just, it, this is the whole bucket of suck. I don't know why they check up so much in turn one for me to make pass up the outside, but I'll take it. Then once we get by this group of cars here, we'll finally have a little bit. What? What is overheated? Oh my god, it is! Should have lowered my fucking grill, uh, my grill tape then if this was going to be that a problem. What? That probably explains why we're not doing as good. 
Man, imagine making a game and making the default setup suck to the point where the grill table overheats because you didn't set it properly. How do you fuck that up? How, how do you... But again, this was made by British developers, so again, you got in order for a NASCAR game to work, you need NASCAR nerds, not from people out of the country, because they're not going to understand the small intricacies of the sport. That was my fastest lap of the race, 24 laps into a run. I don't really understand that. I try my best to just stay out of their draft so the temps don't freak out, but it's basically impossible. I need to check up so much in turn three, but it's okay. We're gaining spots. Man, if we just didn't have that dumb shit happen at the beginning of the race, we probably could be leading it or, or, or something because this car is fast. Yeah, the engine's even damaged. It... Man, I... Like, what else can go wrong in this one? We've got people pitting already. Lap 26, that's... Pretty early. But they can't make it to the end on fuel. Maybe I should do that too, just to... Just... Yeah, I... You know what? I, I might just have to pit early. Just to fix this grill tape, because I am not going to make it 60-some-odd laps. So, screw We're just going to pit now. It's a, it's a massive undercut, but this car seems... Pretty damn quick. Just get down to 35. All right, beautiful. Get up four tires. Lower the grill tape. It was at 45, and it was still bad. We'll put it at 25. That should be good enough. Repair damage. 86 on the... It was definitely damaged, so... We'll pit, and... Just go the rest of the way and hope this goes green and it just works out. But I'm probably asking for too much. Stupid me. I should have went to the car setup and changed that at the bare minimum, because I did that at Charlotte. I didn't think I needed to do it here, but... I was wrong. I didn't do all of my my home. I guess I didn't do enough homework. It's it's frustrating how much time you have to put in to, to play this. Just to figure out all this dumb shit. But whatever. Well, we got the rest of the race to figure this out and everyone starts to pit, so... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we could make it come back. Now that we don't have to worry about the grill tape and the axle's not damaged, so... We'll be very quick. That's another fast lap. Yeah, we're definitely quick. I mean, this is just disgusting. But I like it. Another spot gained, and now we'll just... Right now, we just really have to wait for all this to kind of cycle through. All right, now we are 29th. More people still need to pit. Regan Smith was one lap ahead of me, but he's not anymore. So, yeah, it's this at least at this point, it's more of just a waiting game just to see how long they'll you know, take before they pit. So, uh, yeah, not a whole lot's happening. Just kind of waiting and biding your time as I keep hitting the outside wall. I just keep doing stupid shit. I must not be at 100% take or something because usually I, I don't just hit the wall for no reason like that. Okay, look like Edwards and Stewart are kind of duking out for the lead. The leaderboard change there in the track map. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. It's, yes, so lap traffic being a problem, holding them up. That's good. Now we're just kind of waiting for them to pit. We're almost about to hit the top 10 of all the lead lap cars, so... Yeah, we're quick. But it's going to really suck when they do eventually pit, and they're going to be on the... You know, they're going to have pressure tires, and I'm going to be on the disadvantage. I'm hoping by that point in time I'll get the lead and things will be fine. That could have been really bad. Luckily, Gordon didn't turn to the right. Usually, sometimes the AI will do that, so uh, that was... Yeah, I think a bullet was dodged pretty heavily there. We're in a good position. If a caution comes out, you're the lucky dog. That was just, yeah, that could have been, again, really, really freaking bad. See, that's what I was kind of expecting with Gore in a couple laps ago, where he tapped him slightly and he turned the right. That's that, that, that was at another bad part of the track. I don't know, that was just, it was just, it was a recipe for disaster. There we go, finally got around Stenhouse and Gore, and that should not have been that difficult of a pass, but it was. Big props to whoever's in that car for holding uh, Hamlin up. A lead lap car. Same with Almarola holding up Harvick. And we'll get around them. Not worry about that. And perfect. All right. Beautiful. We might cycle out eighth after all this is said done. So all these, all these spots I'm getting here, it might be for something. Got to the inside of Brad Kozlowski. And now we'll just pass him. This could be all for virtual P5 when this is all said and done. So this is important to make these passes up. And close in as much as I can before everyone else pits. Now Jimmy's in the lead, so battle for lead must be pretty interesting up there. I wish I was a part of it. 
I wish it was not this like really asinine strategy. But hopefully this ends up working out in my favor. Okay, so we had Gordon, Shrex, and M Pit. They were right around me, relatively speaking. I recycled out way in front of them, so us pitting that early really helped. Now, the only thing is that they have the time to run me down, which I don't think they do. But crazier things have happened. Yeah, we got Jimmy to pit, so we're gonna officially get one lap back. So I think we're the first car lap down. Oh, yeah, if this somehow works out, we get the lead after all this. That is some massive undercut because we were running like 18th before, so Tony that's Tony Stewart right there. He was virtual or he was leading for a good chunk of this, and I'm about like what four seconds ahead of him. And with all these lap cars too, I we might be able to cheese this. <laughs> the most dumbass way imaginable. We might be able to we might be able to BS this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get cycled back out of the lead. Uh, didn't think this undercut would work to this extent, but it worked. We got about a four second lead to Stewart. He might start closing in on me, but we got a bunch of lap cars he's got to deal with, so. We saw that earlier in the race when they were dealing with just one lap car, how much it was holding them up, so I. I we might be good. I think we're going to cheese it. I, just a, a very out, wacky out there strat. And I only pit early because the. The grill tape was just overheating, and it was in, in turn damaging the car. Michael McDowell's making this really difficult. He's, he's checking out so much to turn three, but... Man, if we could just clear him, Kurt, and, and Mark, we'll be set for the rest of this race. We just gotta get there. Kurt checks up early in turn three. We'll get that spot, no problem. And now we just have to worry about Mark, and it'll be good. Like I said, for the rest of the race, and I... We're gonna, we're gonna do it. <laughs> this is so unconventional. Unusual. But leave it to me that, well, this series has been pretty, like, unusual from the start, which is how things have, like, transpired. But this will definitely be a, a interesting way to uh, interesting way to win Dover, I'll say that much. It definitely was not what I was practicing for, but it just kind of happened. And we're pulling away. This defies all logic. We have 30-plus lap older tires in the start. They should be really close to I mean, why did the car fucking do that? I'm turning like normal, and then that time it's just like, oh, we're just not going to register the input, and then we'll just make you... Luckily, I caught that, but that was going to be really, really bad. I was just thinking this, but imagine if we had the same tires as the rest of the field. I think we could lap the entire pack, like this entire field. I don't know, I was trying to find another uh, synonym for it, but I couldn't. That's kind of disturbing. We're already doing this good on so much older tires... I don't know, it's just kind of something I was thinking about. That would be... I don't know. I guess when we go here in the fall, we'll be able to answer that question because we're probably almost fully upgraded by then. And probably by then we'll be doing double races or something because our car will be super OP. This was not quite the case. This was a bit unorthodox. Very weird. White flags out. I'm just... Like, this kind of feels good, but at the same time... I don't know what more I could... I mean... I did an undercut, but it really wasn't an undercut that I wanted. This is definitely better than Darlington, but... For me to be on 30 lap older tires and for this to work... Man, this game just... It's hard to be happy with good things happen. It's just... I don't know how to feel about this one. I banged my knee off my desk. I just... I just don't know what to feel. It just seems wrong. Way to earn that paycheck, buddy. Now the happy sponsor. That was a very short message there, but yeah, I don't know what to say with this one. I mean, this this should not have worked. I went from like 18th to first, and pulled away from them on older tires. Like that should not have. Like they they should have been e easily able to run me down, but maybe lap traffic screwed up too. I don't know. It's really hard to have a a phenomenal race in this game. At least for me. Maybe this game will be, like, amazing if, you know, you never make a mistake. But then again, I did make a mistake. A yellow came out for it, and the AI didn't... Like, they all stayed out. Like, that was that might have been the smartest thing they ever did. I don't know. Let's just... What, what button does what? Because... Alright, it's enter. What? Alright, I, I did the same thing as I did before. That's another win. That's, what, our fifth win this season? 
I, d I just, I don't know. From what I saw with Clable's thing at Pocono, that might be really easy too. So uh, we might be getting into some like really gross races here. I don't know. But Tony got second. He deserved it. Edwards had a phenomenal point day, so he might he might be back in the point lead. I'm not really sure. Kyle Busch, Dale, actually Dale Jr. had a good day. Kyle Busch had a had a bad day, so that's a big old yikes for that. And. Yeah, Kurt's 29 was another horrific day for him. And poor Ambrose, in the, literally pointing in the wrong direction and backwards, just had no concept of what to do. Got 40 first. That was kind of funny. Wow. We're still fourth, even with that win. Well, Edward, actually, oh, Edwards is our new point leader now. Uh, seven or Kyle Busch, Dale Jr. He closed in, but Kyle Busch, yeah, he had a bad day. But Edwards back in the point lead. All is almost right with the university end because he was dominant very early on in the season. So, yeah, we didn't really gain too much on him. We didn't lead the most laps. That doesn't help either. But Tony Sir had an, uh, an amazing run. Jeff Burns up in the top 10 still. Kansas jumps up to 10th. So, uh, Stewart is, I believe, in. He's not in the. He's, he's in one of the two wildcard spots, but he doesn't have a win. So, he's kind of on the edge. Newman's got it. So. Stewart's the last one in on points, relatively speaking, because nobody in the top 20 has a win. Sure, Bain does, but he's not a top 20. Kurt jumped up to at least 21st. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was, but Pastrana continues his fall from Grace Harvick. Casey Kane just weirdly in the back. So, I don't know, but definitely not ideal days for some of them. We got a new secondary sponsor. That was sensational Ooh. out there today, buddy. Ooh, so we like it. That we have new sponsors lining up. The yes, side. I, Ray, I agree. I agree. We're going to go with Goodyear. Do we have a new... Is that going to change... It's going to change everything with this car, I bet. Yeah, look at that. Oh, sick. We got the Goodyear car. I like it. That's neat. I'm not used to getting multiple schemes in a season, but that's that's pretty cool. So, we have... We are on a new arc for this series. Speak about new things, we're going to get an engine upgrade. 700,000, we have 800,000 credits, so we'll get that upgrade. Um, and, yeah. Here we go. We have 100,000 credits left. So what's the next one to get after that? So the engine, that'll be a million for level 4. 1.2 million for that. I guess the next one will be br uh, maybe brakes. 950,000 for that. Yeah, brakes will be at level 3, 850,000, so that's our next goal. But, alright, well, I think that does it. What a weird race. We only had one yellow, and it went green the west, the west of the way. Well, I'm too tired for this. Oh my god. But, yeah, we got Pocono next episode. I think that might be easy, but I mean, when we did that invitational challenge thingy, I mean, we didn't really do good at all, so I don't know. I mean, the car's definitely got a little more engine. It's got extra chassis, so maybe it's going to be really good. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to do some practicing to figure it out and see what tire fuel combination we'll have to go with. But for now, I think we'll wrap things up. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters today for our Chat 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carrier, and Golf Kill 100 for support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel. Every single month, it does me a lot, and it's always really appreciated. It goes a long ways, so... Yeah, just bluntly and simply, thank you. I'll see you all for Pocono. Again, don't know how that's going to go. But I guess we'll find out. We've been kind of on a tear lately. Um, gotten a win at Dover, Charlotte. The All-Star race doesn't count. Darlington counted. We've been on a top 10 streak for quite a while. Our last race where we didn't get a top 10 was Texas, but that was, that was bad. But you know, we did go to Kansas. But yeah, it was... We're, I think we're getting to that point now where the car is going to get really competitive, and then it, it may get boring. I mean, if, if races do get uneventful, we'll probably throw in two races an episode. But we haven't quite got to that point yet, but I could smell it. So, yeah. Either way, I'll do it for me. I'll see you on the next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.